Welcome to Fixer John. We're looking at itch creams today, or itch lotions in this situation. We'll start with the one I grew up with. Um, this is a uh, one retailer's brand, but right here you might be able to see hydrocortisone is the active ingredient. So we'll take a look on here, a bunch of different directions, but hydrocortisone, 1%. This is what I knew until recently. Found out there is another itch cream, and if we look on this closely, it's probably not going to be able to see it, but dihydramine hypochloride and then zinc acetate. So this is basically, you can see here, compared to extra strength Benadryl cream. So this is a cream with a Benadryl versus hydrocortisone. So these go on as a cream. Now, um, I think a more traditional remedy was calamine. There's different formulations of this. This has 8% calamine along with zinc oxide. Um, I've seen that others have a different second ingredient, calamine plus something else. But this one is calamine with zinc oxide. So I'm actually going to show you a little bit of how these go on. These are creams. So these are less messy. This goes on a little bit pink. Um, it does dry pretty quickly. This particular one is pretty runny. One thing to note, if you order this online, none of these manufacturers seem to have figured out they should put an inner seal in here to make this better for online shipping. It's one thing if it's being shipped to a store in a pack of like four or six, but bouncing around the, uh, the box coming to your house, these tend to spill out. So I would recommend buying these from the store or at least realizing when you order this, this may come to your house like this and leaking out this. So I would get this physically run to a store. Um, if you have to order online, you might want to go the cream route. But let's just show you the cream, how that goes on. So we're going to use the Benadryl one. I do have some poison ivy. So you can see here, we're just going to do this. It goes on and it's a lot like a nice sunscreen. It fades in pretty quickly. Now we're going to use the hydrocortisone cream on this area up here. Each of them seems to help the itching some. I want to say that the Benadryl helps a little bit more. And you can see the Benadryl leaves a little bit more of a residue. Now we're going to look at this other foot. We're going to use calamine over here. And this one is one we got to be more careful. As you can see, that goes on much more as a liquid. So you've got several options, or maybe more than this, out there. This does dry in a few minutes, this calamine. But um, we've got creams. So if you're looking for something not very messy, you're going to want to go with the cream. And I would say maybe go with the Benadryl option. Um, I think this maybe works a little better. If you want to go with the traditional calamine, just expect it to be a little messier. And this does dry. I may have put a little bit too much on there. But uh, this is the Fixer John channel, and hope you have a blessed day.